Now, I'm about to get to give you the biggest hack when it comes to PimFed in 2024. A lot of people wanna be able to find out the best ways to be able to get approvals, and when it comes to actually even getting the business funded or even on the personal side. Today, we're gonna to be showing you exactly how to actually go out with PimFed and get over a $30,000 approval with only one inquiry hitting your personal profile. Now, understand, you listen to what I say step by step inside of this video, we're gonna make sure that you actually get the approval of 30,000 and over. The maximum amount you're actually able to get on this play is actually up to 50K. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna keep it at 30, and this is exactly how we get it done. You see, the main factor is usually when people are getting started out with credit, they usually don't understand the whole concept of, well, if I have challenging personal credit or I have no credit, the best place for me to actually go out to to get myself funded ASAP is gonna be credit unions. Let me tell you exactly why. You see, when we decide to go to credit unions and relationship built banks, what actually happens is these banks, creditors and lenders, they actually care more about their customers. When we go to big banks like Chase, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, these banks actually care more about their shareholders. See, they're owned by shareholders. So you best believe if something happens like COVID, you best believe that the money starts to get tight. Well, then the funding that they're actually starting to give out is gonna get very tight because they care about their shareholders, not their customers. Now, when we're looking at credit unions, the people that actually care about their customers, this is why they actually fund challenging personal credit. So if you're somebody inside this video with challenging personal credit and you wanna know your first step, it is gonna be credit unions because most people go out and they end up damaging that personal credit report while they have challenging personal credit simply because they don't know exactly who to go to. So now that we solve that problem, let's get to the video. All right, so for my people inside of Fairfair, I'm gonna show you something that you're never gonna forget inside of this video. And if you have not yet, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. That way you'll be updated every time your boy makes a new video. What you guys wanna know before we pull this move is actually the five second inquiry. What the five second inquiry simply states is it takes a inquiry five seconds in order to be able to actually hit the bureaus and let them know that you just applied for a credit card, line of credit, or any type of credit application. If we understand this, that it takes it five seconds, our job is, is to make sure we come in between the middle of the five seconds and be able to actually come out with two approvals instead of just one. So what this looks like is the average entrepreneur goes out and they only get one approval for a credit card, $10,000. We, on the other hand, by listening to this video on exactly how to pull this strategy, we're able to actually put out 20 because we know how to get two cards instead of just one. Now the five second inquiry, how this works is and how we actually get in between it, we wanna go into PinFed website and they actually have a combination of four credit cards that you're gonna be able to actually apply for. But we only wanna make sure we apply for two. Now, how this works is we simply pull up two applications. When we pull up these two applications, we fill them out 99.9%. .9%. And another thing that's very great about PimFed is they give you the pre-approval. So in other words, they're gonna do a soft pull on your personal credit report and give you that pre-approval before you're actually able to damage your personal credit. This is great. But what we wanna simply do is we wanna go down, fill out each one of the applications, both of them, 99.9%. .9%. And then once we do that, we simply go all the way down to the pre-approval button and we hit them at the same time. You see, when we hit these buttons at the same time, we are now disrupting the five second inquiry because if it takes the inquiry only five seconds to hit, well, we apply for two cards within a five second time span. So therefore, when we look at how PinFed views it, well, they're gonna see that we only apply for one credit card. That means only one inquiry actually hit our profile, but we got approved for two credit cards. Now, I wanna go over exactly how we make sure we get the highest approval for these credit cards. Unlike any of these fool gurus that just tell you exactly what to shoot for. Now, if you wanna, if you're somebody inside of here, you wanna get a 15K and over approval from PinFed, you wanna make sure you have a couple of these things in order. First, on your personal credit profile, you wanna make sure you have at least two years worth of history. I'll show you guys in other videos exactly how we actually add on history by adding backdated accounts that report instantly. So in other words, if I fill out an application today for a trade line to report, when it reports to my bureaus, it's gonna look like I actually had it for two years. Which for everybody inside of her, the main thing that the bank's creditors and lenders look for, high limits, history. 
When we have a combination of these two things is when we're actually setting ourselves up to walk out the bank with more than we walked in with. Now, the last thing I wanna be able to go over in order for you to be able to actually get this approval is we wanna make sure we have no recent inquiries. I'm gonna say that again. No recent inquiries. Inquiries are what hit your profile to alert other banks that, hey, listen, you've been asking for money. In other words, you kind of look money thirsty. Like, hey, brother, imagine a guy came out and asked for a $25,000 loan and he got it. Then he went over to another bank the same day and asked them for another $25,000. Well, naturally, what's going to actually happen is they're going to say, hey, well, you just got $25,000 from the other bank. Why are you now asking us for money? Now you're looking money thirsty and this puts you in a position of high risk to where you eventually end up getting denied or you walk out the bank with the lower end of the stick. Now, if you're somebody that wants to be able to take everything under your personal name and put it inside of a business, your credit cards, your cards, your houses, your phone bills, I suggest that you actually watch this video right here while I show you guys exactly how to turn your SSN into a EIN all the way. Our job is to be able to honestly make sure nothing is inside of our personal name. That way that we're able to own nothing, but yet we're able to control everything. This is your boy Kai Gibson, AKA Rick Six. And we out, YouTube.